Hi, my name's Ainsley. In 2016, I had a spinal cord injury. I was a passenger in a road traffic accident. When I realised the extent of my injury, I, I couldn't I couldn't believe what what I was being told. Um, to say that it was at the start, I thought that was hard to deal with, but really it was just the tip of the iceberg. Um, and it, that within itself was hard to understand what was going to happen from there on. So I remember uh, in the early days of my injury feeling so confused as to what sort of what am I going to do from here uh, and how did I even end up in this position um, not wanting to speak with people really struggling to comprehend how this has happened to me and why uh, I had a lot of questions that couldn't be answered at the time I had a really strong support network from family friends and my partner um, and this this is a key part um, because all in all you end up coming through the injury together um, we managed to do that and uh, we're still around here today supporting one another it's really good the biggest change I had to deal with um, outside of the physical change was probably having to be a lot more organised and having to do a lot more planning around my everyday life in order to do things that would be considered to be normal. Going back to university really helped me after my injury because it gave me a purpose and to get up and get out there and something to do and not just focus on what had previously happened. So it really supported me in getting back into socialising and meeting people and speaking to people. If I had to give some advice to somebody that had been in a similar situation to what I have, it would be to take your time to recover physically and mentally. Once you've been through that process, um, you'll soon realise that there's not a lot of things that you cannot do because of your injury. And just take your time and you'll realise that, that everything will be okay. Right now, I'm doing really well. Um, I should be graduating in September, uh, which feels like a lifetime away, but at the same time, I started my degree in 2015. Since then, I've been through my injury and uh, I'm finally getting to the end of the tunnel, which is great. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, um, in 2022, uh, I should be getting married, um, so that's something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I'm also looking forward to travelling a bit more uh, because of obviously the current situation um, and being able to travel, etc. So in the future, I'm really looking forward to getting back out there and travelling and seeing different places.